In this series, I'm going to show you how you can possess the power of Thor with Adobe After Effects. So in the last episode, I showed you how to create Thor's lightning eyes effect. In this episode, I'm going to show you how you can create the lightning body strikes effect. So without any further ado, let's get into the tutorial. Okay, so let's open up a new comp here. We click on this icon here and we will rename our comp lightning. Okay. And then we'll change the frame rate to 25 frames from 29. And we are going to change the duration to five seconds. Okay. Press okay. And then here we're going to grab the pen tool and create a new shape, get rid of the fill. Okay. Press okay. And now we are going to go to the stroke and then just change it to a blue or white if you wish. I'm going to do mine blue like here, press OK. Right, so now grab that pen tool and we're going to create this shape here to mimic kind of a lightning shape. It's a very rough kind of pen sketch here. So we'll go to layer, new, adjustment layer. Okay, and then we click on here. Now we go to effects, distort, and go down to turbulence displace. Okay, we click on that now. And here, what we're going to do is the amount we're going to change here from 50 to 90, size from 100 to 3. Okay. And the alienation, we're going to change it to high. We're going to change the offset turbulence here and just move it to the front here. Okay. Now, the offset turbulence, what we're going to do is just mark the keyframe and then position it at the end here. So it animates. Okay. Like so. Okay, let's just preview that. You can see now it's creating this kind of animation, like lightning effect. Okay. So that's like a mini lightning effect. So we're going to go to effects and then type in glow and grab this glow effect, add it here. Now we're going to change the color and then just add some more blue to it like this. Okay. Go to layer, go to new adjustment layer, and then go here to distort and turbulence displace. And size we're going to change from 100 to 50, and we're going to change this to high. Okay. And now we're going to go to the offset and press the stopwatch, grab the anchor point. Just move that to the start of the lightning here and then place the playhead at the end of the comp and then just drag that offset to the end and you can see it animating. Okay. And we're just going to preview that. And as you can see, it's creating this wavy kind of lightning current effect. Okay. So We've got our animation here for a lightning. And what we can do is we can create different shapes with those same settings, just eliminating that shape layer that we drew. Okay. So if we delete this, that shape layer, we can create different lightning strike effects. Okay. So now we've built that we can build on the same principle there with just different shapes. Okay. So now we're going to create the lightning burst. So what we're going to do is with the shape layer selected, we go to the rectangular tool and then go here to tool creates mask. And then we're going to create this rectangle. So it reveals a bit of the lightning strike. So it creates that burst here. Now if we press F, we can go to mask feather, change the pixel to 50. And then we're going to click on mask path and create a keyframe. So if we move, say, a couple of frames forward, okay, another keyframe, and we will 
extend this rectangle shape to reveal the entire lightning and strike okay so now it's created that animation and we have our lightning strike a lightning burst effect let me say it bursts straight into the whole effect not just the whole effect so we're going to render this out this lightning effect out okay so these are the render settings that you want you go to composition add to render queue click on output module mode and then click on format options it's animation for video codec and press ok and then on channels we want to go to rgb plus alpha okay press ok and then we want to render that out and select a location for that okay so now we've got those individual parts rendered out as files and we can have several different lightning effects like just by eliminating that shape tool that shape layer we can create new shape layers above the settings that we've already set out with the colors and the shapes and everything else and we can create different lightning effects in our comp and then what i like to do is just render that out so we have individual files that we can use and bring into after effects and it's just easier that way that's what i find or you can actually use the comps themselves and bring them into after effects if you want to okay so now we're going to place the lightning strikes on the body okay what we're going to do is take our lightning effects that we've brought in that we've rendered out and just drag them onto the comp okay just overlay it over the video here so what I'm going to do is just scrub along, find a place here when I catch the hammer and just place it here. So now what we've got to do is just play around with the positioning of this lightning strike. So if the lightning strike is selected, you can move it around. Okay. Just see a great position, maybe here where it strikes my hand and sort of the upper part of my chest. So I grab that lightning strike, press R for rotation. I can rotate it, place it in a different position, maybe close to the shoulder here, and then it strikes my hand. So I'm just going to fast forward here, and this is basically just where I placed different lightning strikes across my body in different positions and animated it in um, after the lightning strike. So it's quite a tedious process, but it's worth it for the effect to the end, okay? So now what we're gonna do is grab the flare and drag that onto the comp, okay? It's a Photoshop file. So here it is. What we're gonna do is just change that blend mode from a normal and go up to screen, okay? Let's remove the black and we now just got the blend the let the flare i'm just gonna put that onto the end of the lightning strike where it strikes my body so it gives it that impact you know of the lightning strike so if i just play it now if i move that just to near my shoulder my face where the lightning hits i could just trim off that the end of the duration so as the lightning comes in then that flare appears here okay so just got to get the timing of that about here like so okay and just trim off the end like so so we've got that short duration of like a lightning burst and then if I take the flare select it here and press Command D to duplicate, grab the duplicated flare and place it on the other end of the lightning by my hand here. And then just scrub through, see the timing of that. Okay. And what we're gonna do is just grab that flare, press S for scale, scale it down a little bit just place it a little bit closer to my face but I don't want it too big so that's why I scaled it down and you can see the lightning strikes and the flares appear okay so just duplicate another layer of the flare 
and just drag that to the other side of my neck here and just scale it down place it by the lightning end of the lightning and just play it through see where that is lightning currents come in okay so it's coming in about a bit further in to towards my face so i'm just going to move it here to the end of that lightning strike and now i'm just repeating that process over and over with all the other lightning strikes okay so we just fast forward all that Okay, so as you see, when I catch the hammer, the lightning comes in. But what I wanted to do, I didn't want so many of those flares at the end. I wanted it to kind of fall off. So there's a lot of flares at the beginning at this point, but less at the end, okay, as it dies down towards the end of the shot. Okay, like so. Yeah, like that. Okay, I, I like that. So now what we're going to do is just create some light fall off so that when the strikes actually happen, you see a bit of light like reflected on my face and other areas of my body just to give it a bit more realistic feel. OK, so we're going to create a new adjustment layer. Go to layer, go to new adjustment layer here. OK, grab that adjustment layer to the top, grab the pen tool. And now I'm just going to create a mask just around my face here where some of the lightning might fall off and like here so as the lightning comes in there'll be a bit of light maybe on that side of my face okay so go to effects color correction and exposure okay i'm going to change the exposure first we're going to add a photo filter here and then from photo filter, we are going to select custom and we're going to use the eyedropper tool just to select a color from the lightning and then ex increase the exposure a little bit like so. Okay, so with that adjustment layer selected, I'm going to grab the mask feather and make it to 56. Okay, and then with that selected, the opacity, what we're going to do is just create some keyframes at the beginning. And as it comes in here, we're just going to create another keyframe, make the opacity 100. So it starts off with zero, goes to 100. And actually, I just need to create a keyframe just before. So it's zero and then goes to 100 as the impact happens. So then the light will shine on my face at that point when the uh, lightning strikes on my body, creating that light fall off here, as you can see, like so. Okay, so if we go here and create a keyframe just as that lightning stops striking here, and we can reduce the opacity. So we have that lightning strike at that point. Stop, okay, at that keyframe point. So it comes in, strikes, and then my face is lit up, you can see? So you've got a bit of a glow on my face as the lightning strikes, and then it comes off, so that light effects come off, okay? So as I catch the hammer, the light off falls off, and it comes back on again, like so. Boom, nice. Okay, so what we're going to do is go to effects, layer, new adjustment layer, create a new adjustment layer, and then copy the exposure and the photo filter, and then Command V to paste that onto that new adjustment layer. You can see it's created a more light fall off on the other side. To add extra shine to that area. So there's an extra glow, an extra light fall off as I as the impact comes in. Okay. 
So now what I'm doing is just fast forwarding here and just creating some more light fall off on my t-shirt, on my shirt. Okay, so as the lightning comes in, there's more light fall off. So comes in, I catch the hammer, the lightning comes and there's glow not only on my face, but on my chest as well from where those lightning strikes are. So if we go back to Premiere, we'll see that we have that composition imported into Pet Premiere. So now we can continue the edit in Adobe Premiere. Check out this next episode in the series where I show you how to create sound design for your full visual effect. Or check out this video you might enjoy as well. Until next time, this has been Aston Regis helping you tell your story through video. Peace.